All right, so now we're gonna start talking about the line charts in Tableau. They are very basics and very standards in order to show the change over time. So now let's go and build very simple line chart in Tableau. Since we are saying change over time, that means we need a date. Let's go and get the order dates to the columns and in the rows we need our measure sum of sales. So now as a default as usual, Tableau gonna show the years, but instead of that, in order to make it more interesting, we're gonna go and switch it to months. So let's go and change the format to month continuous so click on that and now with that we got our line charts and if for some reason at your end you are not getting line charts in order to switch it to line charts we go to the marks and then instead of automatic let's go and choose the line so once you do that you will get exactly like by me a line chart so this is the most basic line chart in tableau that shows the changes of our time Okay, so next I would like to show you the different visuals that we can add to our line. So for that, let's get more measures to our view. So currently we have the sum of sales. Let's get everything like the discount, the profits, and we have already the sales. Let's take the unit price and as well the orders. So now, as you know, since we have five measures in our view, we get as well five tabs in the marks in order to individually set up the visual. So for the sum of sales, we're going to leave it as it is, as a standard line chart. But for the next one, what I'm going to do, we're going to change the path or the visual of the line. So if you go over here on the path and click on it, we will get different types of lines. So the first one going to be the standard one, the linear, but the second one going to be a step. So let's go and select that. So now if you check the discount over here, we don't have a linear chart like the sales. We have now like steps, like it's jump up and then we have steps down all right so let's move next to the profit over here so let's switch the tab to the profit so now we're gonna go again to the path and here we have two sections the line type and the line pattern so in the line pattern we have the solid line or we can make a dashed line so let's go and select the dashed line and as you can see now in the visuals we have very nicely a dashed line in tableau so this is one more way in order to present the lines in tableau let's move to the next one to the next measure we have the unit price let's switch there and now what we can do over here for each data point that we have in the charts we can make a marker or like small circle so in order to add the markers what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the colors over here and then here we have the effects so the first one is automatic the second one to have marks and the last one to have no marks so let's go and switch everything to marks and now with that, you can see the line chart in the unit price has like small circles, small data points. So this is one more visual effect on the lines in Tableau. Let's move to the last one, the count of the orders. So let's switch there. Now what we can do, we can change the size of the lines depends on the values. So in order to do that, let's take the count of orders. So it's control, drag and drop it and put it on the sides. So now if you take the last line, we're going to see a really nice effect. If the values are small, we will have a thin line. But if the values are high, we will get like a heavy line, which is really looks nice. All right, guys. So as you can see, Tableau is very rich in the visualizations and with few clicks, we can change the visual representations of the lines. Alright, now we're gonna build the multiple line chart in Tableau. I'm always duplicating the sheets in order not to build everything from scratch each time. So now previously in the standard line, we can see the changes over time, but sometimes we want to add more information. We want to compare the values of one dimensions inside this view. And we can do that by having multiple lines. So let's say that I would like to compare the values inside the category. So let's go to the categories in our products. And now let's put it on the colors. So drag and drop it to the colors. And as you can see by doing that, Tableau is going to go and plot three lines for each value inside this dimension. So with that, we got multiple lines inside one view. And now we can see that it's not really informative because we have a lot of lines and a lot of zigzags. In order to reduce that, we're going to switch the format to, let's say, for example, a quarter. So now it's a little bit more clean in order to see how the data are changing over time and you can compare the values of one dimensions. So the number of lines really depends 
depend on the values inside this dimension. One more thing about how to create those three lines, you don't have to have it always on the colors. If you move the category from the colors and put it on details, you're going to get the same effects where Tableau going to go and create multiple lines for each value, but this time without colors. So this is another method on how to create different lines in Tableau, but I think it makes more sense to have it on the colors to have separate color for each line. So this is how you can create multiple lines in Tableau using dimension. All right, the next one we can have dual line charts. This time we're gonna go and compare two different measures in one view. So we're gonna create for each measure one line. So now I'm gonna stick with the same view where we have the sum of sales and the quarter for the order dates. So now we'd like to compare in this view two measures, the sum of sales and the profit. So let's take the profit and put it side by side by the sales. And with that, we got two different lines for each measures, but I would like to have it on top of each other's. So in order to do that, we're gonna go and use the dual axis. So let's go to the profit, right click on it. And here we have the option of dual axis. So with that, as you can see, it's very simple. We got a dual line charts and here you can add more stuff. For example, you can go and synchronize those two axes by going to the profit right click on it and here we can go and synchronize it or of course we can go and set up each line differently so let's go to the profit over here go to the path and let's make it a dashed line so as we learned previously using the dual axis we got the freedom of changing the visual of each measures individually and this is a really great way in order to compare two measures Okay, moving on to the next one, we have the cumulative line charts. So currently in the standard line charts, we are using the month and the sum of sales, and we can see the total sales for each month. But sometimes we would like to understand how the thing are developing or growing with the time. So now if we want to see the growth over time, we have to use a cumulative line chart. In order to do that, we're gonna go to the sum of sales, and instead of having sum of sales as aggregate functions, we're gonna go and create quick table calculations to have have the running total so let's go and switch that and as you can see we're gonna get very nicely cumulative line charts where you can see how the things are growing over the time but of course to make things more interesting we're gonna add more information to our view so let's go and get the category and generate different lines so we're gonna drop it on the colors and now we can see how the different categories are growing over the time. And what we can add as well to the cumulative line is the ending point of each line. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to the marks, to the labels. So click on the labels, show mark labels. But now as you can see, we have for each month one label. We don't want that. We want only the ending of each line. So in order to do that, we're gonna switch it from all to line end. So now if you check our lines, you can see at the start and at the end, we have these informations but the starting point is not really interesting so we can go and disable it so label start of line let's go and disable it and with that we can have the total sales of each category at the end of the line so with that we can go and analyze the growth over time for each category Okay, so now we're going to go and create small multiple line charts as we done for the bar charts. We're going to do it now for the lines. So now what we're going to do, we're going to bring like at least three dimensions to the view in order to break down the sales to smaller lines. So let's go and do that. We're going to get as usual the order date to our view. Let's get the sum of sales to the rows. And then we're going to get another dimension, the category to the rows as well. So as you can see now, as we are adding more dimensions, we are splitting the lines. Let's go and get the countries and put it as well to the columns. So now that we got more charts, but Tableau gonna show it as bars since we have it as automatic. So let's go and switch it to lines. And now we have it as a discrete line. Instead of that, let's get a continuous line. In order to do that, let's go to the dates and switch it to something like the month as continuous. So let's change the format. And with that, as you can see, we get very interesting multiple line charts. And I would like to add the colors as well. So let's go and get the country, for example, and add it to the colors. And now just to enhance the visual, let's go and remove the grid. So right click over here and then let's go to format. Then we're going to go over here to the lines and then we have the row tab. So let's go to the grid lines and move to none. So with that, we have removed those grid lines, which is really annoying to have a lot of them. And then the last thing that we can do is that we can have the total sales of the last point. In order to do that, let's get the sum of sales, hold control and put it to the labels. And then we're going to go to the labels over here and let's select min max 
we're gonna have it by the order date so let's switch from automatic to month and let's have only the maximum value so let's remove the minimum value so what that we got for each chart like the total sales for the last month so with that we have created very nice small multiple line charts in tableau and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye